Hello, I'm Ulrich Sandstrom and I'm a chiropractor who's been involved in treating lead athletes for over 15 years. I'd like to introduce to you the concept of muscle testing and why I believe it could be one of the most valuable clinical assessment tools you'll ever use, particularly if you're dealing with athletes. I've used this method successfully for over a decade on elite athletes from a massive variety of sports and consulted for our national teams in basketball and rugby. I've always wondered why so many of our athletes appear to injure doing trivial or routine tasks that they perform daily as part of their sport, whilst others can cope with remarkable external force without injury. When Michael Owen kicks a football in the 2006 World Cup game against Sweden, as he's done thousands of times before, and with no one anywhere near him, should we not be surprised to see him collapse to the floor catastrophically injuring his left knee in the process? Compare this now to Manu Tuilangi, recently riding three all-black tackles to set up Chris Ashton's try, a man at full sprint with three opponents desperately trying to stop him. We also know that a lot of these injuries recur, so just treating the injury is clearly not enough. We often look to posture and mechanics for the answer, but this assumes that there's an optimal normal and it doesn't allow for individual variation. The real answer is adaptation, or robustness, or tolerance, or lack thereof. It's the way we adapt to our environment, and this is essentially determined by how well our nervous system processes huge amounts of sensory input from our joints, our muscles, our ligaments, etc., and how well this information is used to control our muscle response. Disturbed sensory input, such as from restricted joints, hypertonic muscles, trigger points, fascial adhesions, etc., will disturb the feedback loop and result in reduced coordination therefore reduced adaptation, reduced performance and ultimately injury. Muscle testing is our window to this incredibly complex system of coordination. I use a particular way of testing which will show how well muscles cope under various challenges and these can be made very specific to the individual athlete and to their sport. When the muscle fails it's spectacular and obvious for both the tester and the athlete and we can use this weakness or inhibition to find the source of poor adaptation and return our athletes to their full potential. The real beauty of this system is that it's totally non-prescriptive in terms of treatment. Muscle testing works whether you're a physiotherapist, an osteopath, a chiropractor, and regardless of the treatment modalities in your toolbox. In fact, many of my delegates have described it as the very best way to help them choose their treatment tool. So if you'd like to be able to assess your athlete's adaptability, if you'd like to be able to know that your athlete has had an instant and significant response to treatment. If you'd like immediate confirmation as you're treating that your diagnosis and your clinical thinking is correct, and if you'd like to use a protocol that finally helps you to describe to your athlete why they injure in a way that makes sense to them, then this seminar is for you. A national team physiotherapist recently described this concept as a paradigm shift after taking my course. I hope you will too. Thanks for listening.